I tell you what, it's got a chance to be on the green. That has got a chance to be on the green. Like this. Don't you dare come down. Oh my god, it's coming down. This could be good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. And it's big for par. My god, it's drawn on everything. That'll be lovely. Oh my god, it's nice. That is nice. Well, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're up here at the lovely Green Acres Golf Club where we're going to be playing a nine hole course vlog today guys on the channel. A nine hole course vlog. But before we start I just want to say I've just recovered. I'm just recovering from the flu so my voice is not great as you can probably hear. Uh, so just bear with me. But anyway, nine hole course vlog. How well can we do? Let's get Let's just get straight to the video. No messing about. Come on. Hole one. It's par four. Should be able to drive us here, it's 283 yards, it's uh, let's try and get a solid drive down the middle here. I tell you what, it's got a chance to be on the green. That has got a chance to be on the green. What an absolute bullet, come on. So, shot two, we've just called it short of the bunker. It's not a bad drive, I've got a 50 at the green in hand. Just going to try and bump one over the, get one up over the bunker here and hopefully it just rolls out to the pin. The pin is up the hill slightly. Should be alright, kick left. Alright, dead kick left as well. That is not bad. What an absolute start, come on. Can we start with a birdie? Come on, can we get it? A nice little birdie to start. Something about this hole, I birdie this hole every single time, come on. So, hole two. We've started well with a birdie guys, we need to try and keep this going. This is the hole that usually makes me crumble. But anyway, we need to start with a solid drive and just keep the, the train going. Oh my god, that is just, that's, that's perfect, that has to be perfect. Yep, we're up there, up there. Should have emptied it a little bit more left, but it was straight enough and we're down there to the right. Shot to you guys, I'm in my natural, I'm in my normal position. Just need to try and get a pitching wedge up in the air, get it on the green here. Ah, oh, pulled it left, where is that going? Pulled it left again. Shot three, so I've literally just pulled it left, guys. I don't know why I'm pulling my shots left. I don't know if it's down the club face or I don't know. So, shot three, pitching wedge in hand, just go try and bump one out. That was pathetic. That wasn't great. So, as I was saying, this is usually the hole where I blow up on. This is for par. Great drive to this here. So, this is for par now. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, that's big for bogey. So, big putt for bogey. Please don't walk away with a double. Don't talk yourself into it. I don't believe it. There's a double bogey. Double bogey, guys. That is so bad. This hole every time always kills me with a double bogey. So, we're on hole three. It's par three, 179 yards, playing downhill. Well, downhill slightly, I've got a 7 iron in hand. Uh, hopefully just get one close to the green. But guys, at the minute, all my shots are going left on me at the minute. I'm kind of like playing a draw or sometimes sharp left. If you know any reason why I'd be doing that, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely give it a read and get back to you. But we very much appreciate it. Oh, that could be good. If it's got the legs, that's really good. It's even... Tell you what, I think we're on. Don't know what I've done different there, but we're on the dance floor. That was a bit of left to right in that one. Come on. So, first par three, we're on the green in regulation. So, let's try and keep it going. That was actually a better strike with the iron. Haven't a clue what I've done though. Ah, it's not exactly, I tell you what, it's not exactly close. And I thought I hit that too hard, to be honest. There's not a par there. That's that's actually massive for bogey. That's a really bad putt. There's a bogey. Two over three, three. That is not great. On the green and one regulation, and we're free putting. Wow. So we're currently on the fourth hole, which is another par four, playing 324 yards. There is a slight breeze going to the right a little bit, so I'm going to play this a little bit more left to the right. So I'm going to play this left slightly. Hopefully just get a solid drive down the middle. 
Oh, that could be really good. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, wow. That is massive. It's not fairway. It's over to the left for a change, but it's not fairway. But it's a good strike. Come on. So we're just off the fairway to the left-hand side. Got a 58 degree in hand. Currently sitting 79 yards. Take a little bit off it. Hopefully just... I'm kind of hoping to miss this branch. Maybe this is the wrong club. You know what? We'll go for it. Could be good. Could be good. It needs to come in left a little bit. A little bit. Massively it needs to come in left. We're over there to the right. Wow. Maybe should have played a different shot. So I have pulled it right a little bit, guys. I'm saying pulled it right. I couldn't really pull it right. If more or less come over the top of the ball too much. Uh, I've got a pitch and wedge in hand. Just go try and bump one out. Get it close for the par. Stick, stick. Wow. Greens are like lightning. Greens are like lightning. That is massive for par. For par. That's massive putt for par. Ah. Can we turn it around? Can we finally sink a big putt? Keep going. Ah. Another bogey. Top end bogey, guys. A bogey in hole four it is. Ah, come on. Need some more pars. Come on. So we're currently in hole five, it's stroke index five as well, and it's 380 yards, playing downwind. So it's big dog in hand, trying to get one down there. My god, it's drawn on everything. That's a big hit. That's a big hit down the middle. Boom. So currently in the rough here. It was a straight off shot, which was good for my liking. Just pitching wedge in hand. Take a little bit off. This could be really good. This could be good. Oh, it's not. The wind must be pushing left. So, shot free, 58 degree in hand. Just keep, try and get one over the right hand side of this bunker here. Just let it roll out. This could be good. Oh, this could be good. Come down. Come down. The greens are like lightning. Honest to God, they're like lightning. So, same situation as last time. I've got this for par. It's a big par. It's a big, big par. I need to stop giving myself all these bogey opportunities because this is for par and it's big for par. Get in there. Get in. Finally. We get the par. We get it. Come on. So we're in hole six. It's currently a par, it's a par three over water, which is a lovely playing hole, so it is. It's playing over water. Gonna try and go right of it here. Oh my god, that's nice. That is nice. On the dance floor at the back, guys. We'll take it. Good strike. So we're on the back of the back right of the green. We're on green and regulation again on another par three. And guys, I actually aimed that one right, and I still draw it left. So I try and I need. I really need some comments down in the comment section. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Why I'm drawing it left. I know it's not a bad thing, but it gets me in a lot of bother too. So this is for birdie. Just get it close for the par. That's... It's an e-wobbler. It is an e-wobbler. It's big for par. Can we get the par? Get in there. Back to back pars. What is going on? Come on. Back to back pars, guys. What an absolute start. So currently on hole seven. I think we're sitting three over, three six at the minute. So hole seven, it's a bit hardest hole in the course, 440 yards par four. I'm gonna even miss one left because wind is going right. It's a little knuckleball down there. It's drifting right. I told you, I was even that left. Wow, down to the right near the trees. Not a bad strike though. So, shot two, it was a little knocker ball down to the, down the right hand side. Wind did obviously pull, I'm guessing it pushed it to the right. Or I've just come over the top, got a five iron in hand. Just want to get one close, maybe should hit a seven iron here. But I'm going to hit a five. I know it sounds stupid what I'm saying like, but I'm going to hit a five. It's down there. Yeah, down the right hand side there. Not a great strike again. So, shot free. Caught the five iron a little bit heavy from the, in the grass there. So, I'm going to play a seven iron bump and run. I don't want to stick it in the air. I'm not being too risky. I'm currently three over. 
through six, so we'll try and keep it going. I want to get this close for power. This could be good. This could be good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Guys, I tell you what, that looks incredible from here. But I bet you I got there and it's about eight feet. <laughs> so we currently have it. Tell you what, it probably is about eight feet, I'm not even joking. We have it sitting about eight feet. This is, how did I even guess that? It would be about between seven and eight, eight foot. I did, I did! <gasps> Get in there! Three pars in a row! I tell you what, that's probably the ugliest par I've done. What? Come on, this is unbelievable. So, we're currently in hole eight, guys. It's a par five, dog leg left par five, playing 470 yards. Usual target here is over between these little trees here, to the left-hand side, if we can get them. If we can get over that, I'll be happy. But anyway, what an absolute par train we've got here. Three pars in a row, let's try and keep it going. Oh, should be all right. That was a little bit off the toe. Yeah, we're up there in the trees. Ah, it's not the strike I wanted there. Not the strike I wanted. Shot to him in the trees. I have got an avenue there I can go down, which would probably be a better shot, but that's a hard shot. That tree's going to get in the back swing. I'm just going to play out safe. Play a seven iron out. Nice little pet shot. Yep, just sit there for me. That'll be great. Not bad. So, shot free. We're on the fairway. I think we're still, I think we're at the 200 marker. I've got a five iron in hand. The five iron's not going to get me there. I know for sure it's not going to get me there. Uh, just the way I'm playing at the moment. Five iron in hand. Don't do that. Just try and get one close. Maybe I should hit a seven iron lay up and then... Anyway, ball's above my feet. So I think it's going to go naturally left. I'll do lovely. Yeah, I'll do lovely. Slow down at the bunker. Oh, yes. Slow down in front of the bunker there. It's not bad. So, shot four. Pitching wedge in hand. I need to just land one on the... Basically, I need to land one on the bottom of that hill because it's a big hill. It doesn't You probably can't see it on camera, but it is a big hill. So, if I can just literally get one over the bunker here and land it halfway on the hill. The greens are quick enough. It should roll out. Like this. Like this. It's not enough. Don't you dare come down. Oh my god, it's coming down. Guys, I'm showing you this is it shows you how quick these greens are. Look at this. Look at this. We're basically off the green again. We're off the green again. So land it literally halfway on land at bottom of the hill, not halfway, land at bottom of the hill and I basically rolled to nearly the top of the safe zone and rolled the whole way back down. So I'm gonna pop this, I'm not gonna chip it. Don't, don't you do it to me. Don't you do it to me. We've actually stayed on top of the hill. Thank God. Not bad. So, big pop for bogey here now. Big, big pop for bogey. From chipping on for a bit, trying to chip on, get it closer to par, roll back down, and now this is for, believe it or not, this is for bogey. Oh, it's a double bogey. Top end double. There we have it. A top end Double bogey guys, that's exactly what I didn't want there. So we're now currently on the ninth hole, which is the last hole of the nine hole course vlog. It's a par five, it's a short par five, I think it plays like 407 yards. It's actually it's actually funny, the par four on hole seven is actually bigger than hole nine, which is a par five. Anyway, it's playing uphill, driver in hand. Just try and get one close. Four right! That's nowhere near the green actually. Ah, uh, we've had the hill of the green up to the right hand side. <laughs> Bit slicey. So, shot two, seven iron in hand. Hopefully it's enough the club to get me over the tree here. <sighs> Guys, look at that's terrible. We hit a tree and we're definitely the wrong club. Really bad second shot there. Nine iron in hand, playing 148. Just try and get one at it. This could be good. This could be good. Get down. We're on the green. Birdie putting. So, big pot for Burley, just want to try and get it close. I'll take the glove off actually, it's putting uphill. Should have hit any iron there. Can I get it? 
kind of get it. Needs to come in. Need to, you need to come in. It didn't come in at all. Ah, we're up at it anyway. We're par putting. Not the greatest. Big one for par. Can we get it? Can we get the par and finish strong and hole nine? Come down, come down. <laughs> get in there. What an absolute pot. Just rolled in last second. Guys, there we have it. That's the end of the nine hole course vlog. And I hope you enjoyed it. And guys, you know the drill. If you haven't liked, comment, subscribe yet. Go down and do that. And yeah, until then, I'll see you next time on the channel. Cheers.